Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jess. Jessica. Everybody calls me Jess. I'm going to just get into it. So, I am amputee. I lost my left leg due to a dog. I had for four years, anyways. I had rescued this dog. She was really skinny and messed up and bloody and everything. And when people have big hearts, they don't think about the background of the dog. You don't know if it was fought. You don't know if it was starved to death or anything like that. So it was kind of difficult for me to even judge. Well, I brought this dog in my home, had her for four years. I nursed her back to health. She was amazing. You know, she was she was a good dog. She never bitten anybody, never showed any signs of badness or cruelness to anybody. So on February 22nd, I went to take her out to use the bathroom. Well, in the hallway right there, in the hallway behind me is when my attack happened. I took her out to use the bathroom and she smelled something in the hallway. Don't know what it was. So I looked at her and I said, come on, Marley, let's go. You know, let's go outside, go potty. So as soon as I turned around, she was on me. Well, I had fought. You know, I fought for my life. That's a 95-pound pit bull. That's a big dog, you know. And at the time, I was only 76 pounds. You know, I'm, I'm very petite, I'm very small. Anyway, so I had fought with the dog, fought her off of me. You know, I have scars everywhere. She had broken my main artery and my left leg. That's why I don't have a left leg. They had to take it from me. Well, I have, I am wearing shorts. I have a scar from here all the way down my left leg. I have scars, I'm sorry, my right leg. I have scars everywhere on my right leg. I do have scars on my left leg as well from the dog and from the healing and everything. But now, I'm sorry, somebody just texted me. But anyways, you fight to save your life. You fight because your loved ones, you fight because your friends, you fight because of you. So I fought her off of me, you know, that was not my, my time, not my time whatsoever. So I had bit her. Okay. That's how I got her off of me. I did lose a tooth biting her, but those are replaceable. Yes. I haven't, you know, gotten my tooth fixed because I have more problems than, you know, I attempt to have. So, I was in the hospital for a month and a half, almost two months. Um, they did tell me, you know, that I died twice. Well, the third time, they brought me back, I guess. And they had asked me, do you know what day it is? Do you know what day it is? I had no clue. I told them it was Wednesday. It wasn't Wednesday. I was in like, I want to say like a miniature coma for a couple of days. So after my surgery, I lost days and everything. And well, I have been fighting for basically my whole battle. This is a battle to me. It's a fight. My fight's not over. It's just beginning. So for all the amputees out there that are struggling, you know, or going through the same thing and want to talk to me, just hit me up on my social media. Um, I'm not sure how to put it in descriptions, but if you hit me up on YouTube, I'll be more than happier to let you know my other social medias. Now, I suffer from PTSD. I do have bad flashbacks of dogs, you know, 
of when my attack happened, of how it happened. It scares me, you know. It scares me to be around big dogs. I do have two pit bulls of my own that I've raised since they were puppies. So it's not the breed. I don't want to hear that it's the breed. It's not the breed of dog. It's the way the dog was raised, the way the dog was treated. Um, I do have a bone infection, you know, not just in my leg, but from where I had stayed in the hospital and was, you know, in there for so long, you couldn't get up out of the bed and, you know, I couldn't brush my teeth, I couldn't take care of my teeth, so I have a bone infection in my jaw and that's why my teeth are rotting at the top. I do plan on getting that fixed after I get my leg situated, you know. I had went to Orlando to get a prosthesis and, you know, a prosthetic and I had tried. I did try, you know, I was there for two weeks. I attended to succeed. That's what I went down there for, to succeed. Well, I've had this problem on my leg and now it's almost been a year since I've been, you know, going through everything. I have a bubble, don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a cyst, an abscess, an ulcer. I have no idea. The doctors don't even know what it is. I have fought and fought and fought and fought. After bone scan, MRIs, you name it, I've done it to try to get my leg fixed. December 3rd, I'm going in to talk to my surgeon to get another surgery. So that way I can get more of the bone taken out. And when they're in there, they can get that bubble taken out as well. That way I can succeed and go forward. Now, this is the thing. I have always been positive throughout my journey of me missing my leg. It's not easy. It's not. Not when you're not used to it, when you're new, it's not easy. But I tell you what, if you succeed and don't give up your fight, you will do great. I clean my house every single day. Okay, it is a mess every day. But I tell you what, yes, it does take me longer to clean my house, but I can still do it. I can still do the things that I did when I had two legs. It just takes a little bit longer. If you give up easy, you're giving up your fight. You don't want to do that. And you say, oh, this is depressing. I'm going through this. Trust me, I know. I have went through anxiety. I'm suffering through depression. That's my PTSD. I have a bone infection. I've been on antibiotics for almost a whole year. I've had IV antibiotics, oral antibiotics, PTSD medicine. I suffer from short-term memory loss sometimes. I forget things, but that's because the PTSD and what goes on in my head. I tell you to surround yourself with positive people that care and love you and you can get through it. Tell yourself every day, I'm strong. I can do this. Today is a good day. Today is a good day. Happy Thursday to everybody. I did not want to get out of bed this morning because it's ice cold in my house. And I do feel my leg at times. You know, I feel my toes. I, I feel the whole phantom pain thing. But if you're suffering through something and you have bad depression and you think, oh, I'll kill myself or nobody loves me or I'm going through this all by myself, you're not. I promise you, you're not. You're fighting your fight and you're doing it with people that care about you and love you, okay? And I'm gonna tell you something. My family, 
has taught me to be strong. My friends have taught me to be strong. I'm not giving up. Not so easy. Not without my fight. Mm -mm. I'm going to succeed. 2019 is coming. That's going to be my year to get my leg, to walk, to be successful, to do the things that I used to do without complaining. Yes, of course, it's going to be hard. It's going to be different because you have to sit down and put a leg on every morning. You have to put your liner on you have to make sure it's lubricated you have to put your leg on you have to make sure it's on right you have to make sure you can walk i'm gonna do good because i'm positive because i'm a fighter because nothing is gonna pull me down so if there's anybody out there that needs to talk about this needs to have a friend to listen just want you guys to know i am here for you you can hit me up any time of day at night doesn't matter i will be here to talk to you if you have questions that need to be answered i'm here okay if you just want to talk just to talk i'm here and i tell you what Yes, y'all may have seen me in Omar's videos on the Omar Gosh TV channel. I am very thankful that somebody has wanted to be my friend, okay? Because to be honest with you, you do lose a lot of friends. And to me, if you lose your friends, they're not your friends. There was just people that was sticking around for the fun of it, okay? Your true friends come in at times that you need a friend to lean on. When you're struggling the most and somebody comes into your life and becomes your friend, God has put you in that path for a reason. And God put Omar in my path for a reason to help me through my journey of struggle, to help me have a friend, you know, to lean on, to tell me that everything's gonna be okay. You know, I have a fiance. I love him half to death, half to death, I do. Me and him have been together for six years. I would not trade him for the world. His name is Matt. He's my everything. He has been there before this has happened. He has been there after this has happened. We have a future together. We do. And I am grateful for him. Because you do find people that love you. And then there's people that go through accidents like this, you know, and their loved ones leave them. It's hard. It is very hard. I'm very blessed to have him in my life. I wouldn't trade it for the world, okay? But I'm saying this as a person and as a family member, as a friend, surround yourself with positivity. That's the key to happiness, the key to success. I promise you, there's always somebody out there that's going through some, so much worse than you are. If you need to talk, I'm here. All right? I'm going to go for now. But I will be on tomorrow. If you need anything, just let me know. And I'll be more than happy to talk to everybody. Yes, I do have little poops up there. That's my thing. I'm obsessed with emojis. That's not even half of them. But... I am very thankful to have each and every one of you to be praying for me and to be friends with me. I'm very thankful. So I'm going to end it here and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.